Hi everyone, in this video we will use a for loop to get four numbers from the users and then print their sum. Also, this is the same video that is written in Java 6. The link is in the description, but it's recreated in C++. So to get started, I'm going to declare a string variable called name. Then I'm going to ask the user to enter their name. So please enter your name. And I'm going to end with a new line after the... Uh, I'm going to insert a new line. And then I'm going to use the get line function to get the user's name in case the user wanted to put in first name and last name. So the get line uh, function will enable us to uh, will enable the user to put in more than one word. Then I'm going to greet the user, saying welcome. Now we can uh, we'll use the name as well so that um, it's a customized message depending on user's name. Now I'm going to declare an integer variable called number. And I'm also going to declare a double variable called sum. And I'm going to assign it a value of zero. This is because uh, this value, this sorry, this sum will um, hold the uh, sum of all the numbers. So it needs to have an initial value. Now I'm going to run the loop four times and obviously you can change this number. So I'm going to use i for the variable name and I'm going to start from zero and end up four. So the user is going to be entering four numbers, zero, one, two, three, but not four because of the less than. So this will stop when i becomes four. Thus the total number would be um, would be four items. Notice there shouldn't be a semicolon, so I'm going to get rid of that. Now I'm going to have an opening and closing bracket so that we can um, have a code block for the for loop. And now I'm going to ask the user to enter, and that, don't forget double quotation, to enter a number. Um, now I'm just going to be reusing this number multiple times cn uh, to get a number and now I'm going to add that number to sum so sum starts off with zero so it's going to be zero plus the first time it's going to be zero plus that number so this will be whatever number the user puts in the next time it'll be that plus the new number and so on a shortcut of writing this would be sum plus equal to number so this means I no longer need this line I'm going to remove it they both give or do the same thing after the loop has ended I'm going to declare an average um, variable an, a variable called average of type double so it will hold the decimal points then I'm going to calculate the average which is equal to sum divided by 4 sum divided by 4, which was the total number of numbers that the user has entered. Uh, in the next program, I'll show you how this can be a different value. It can be any value that you want. Maybe we can let the user decide that value. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the set precision. And I have a video on this in previous videos. Um, and along with fixed to set the decimal points to 2 and now I'm going to display the average and a new line as well uh, end line yeah and a semicolon don't forget okay this shall do it now let's let's compile this and it's it's gone fine now I'm going to use the same numbers that we've used in the Java video. Um, we've used four, five, six, and seven. And for the name, we've used test. I'm just going to use test, um, uh, test, and then last name just to show you how the user can put in um, with the get line method. They can put more than one name, as in first name and last name. Um, numbers four five six seven give us the same output that we expect which is a 5.5 5. 
So I hope that was helpful. Stay tuned for more videos on how we can improve this.